Welcome back to Level Up with Lori, where I talk a little bit about life, a little bit about business, and every single thing in between, where I share strategy, and where I hope to shift your perspective and the way that you show up in the world, because at the end of the day, what I really truly believe the world needs more of is the magic that every single one of us has inside of us. So sit back, relax, enjoy the episode, and I will see you on the other side. Hey. Hey, 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 friends. Welcome back to Level Up with Lori. I am so incredibly happy that you are here. I hope you are having a fantastic summer so far. I hope you're enjoying the sunshine, time with family and friends. I don't know. I feel like this summer is flying more than other summers have flown. And maybe it's like kind of the fact that we kicked it off mid-January. Mid, mid mid-July um, with a family trip. So the first couple of weeks were like all anticipation and preparation for that trip and, and like getting it at the cottage. And then once we got home, July was pretty much wrapping up. And then we've had, we've been, we've had a lot of summer sports in our lives this year. Um, it's been great because we contained it to kind of Monday to Wednesday slash a few Thursdays so that we could spend the majority of weekends at the cottage, but still, um, I feel like we're not getting enough time at the cottage this year. So something to think about next year, but either way, so happy you're tuning in this week. And I just wanted to thank you for the response that I got to last week's podcast, all about kind of, you know, the news that I got about my company and what I've learned from that experience and learned from that news and just, how I'm going to take that forward with me, how I'm going to help other women take that forward with them. And honestly, your love and support through this challenging time has been absolutely incredible. And one of those hidden, like hidden gifts, right? Um, you really never know how powerful your circle is until like you need them to show show up for you and you have done more than show up for me. So thank you. Um, I love you for that. Anyways, you know, here's the thing from lemons. I am always making lemonade and I am so incredibly excited about a brand new opportunity that I found. And no, this is not a pitch for that. In fact, if you want to find out about the um, new company that I've started up with and the ground floor opportunity that I've gotten in on, I'm going to make you send me a message or get yourself in to my Facebook VIP group, which is Life with Lori. So that's actually something I don't think I've ever shared on this podcast before was the link to my VIP group, but come one, come all. Um, it is one of my favorite communities on Facebook and we talk a lot, a lot of things, mostly Netflix, style, health, books, little more Netflix, Survivor, Bachelor, all those good stuff. So anyways, what I wanted to kind of record a podcast episode about now that I'm kind of in this throes of a brand new opportunity is what it looks like to launch a business and give you some tips around launching a business and launching strong. And one of the things um, that I always used to say when I brought women into Stella and Dot um, was that I would like encourage them to give their first 30 to 60 days in the business the old college try, right? Like go all in, get really super duper excited about it, share it with all the things, do all the things their mentors were teaching them how to do, and just like give it their all. And the reason that I would say 30 to 60 days and even 30 to 90 days is that I think that you can get a real feel for the business and the opportunities and the possibilities that are attached to that business when you throw yourself into it in the beginning. I think of what can happen for a lot of women is that it's super overwhelming in the beginning, right? Like there's a lot of information flying at you, a lot of groups that you need to join, people saying all these incentives and bonuses and all these things. And it feels like there's so much to learn that like they try to pace themselves and it's like, okay. Or they almost need, they try to set their expectations low, right? Like, oh, I'm just going to give this a try or, oh, well, da, da, da. like it'll be what it'll be. And like, here's the thing, you control what it can be. You control what you do with the business opportunity that's sitting in your lap. And why I say to go all in in the beginning is because 
you truly need to see and experience enough of the business to know if this is something that you want to run with in the future. And you won't get that level of experience if you dabble in the beginning, because if you dabble in the beginning, it will always be this overwhelming thing that is slightly out of reach. This thing that feels like something that you're adding to your plate, when really, if you were to immerse yourself in the beginning, it could be, it could explode and you could just have a whole hell of a lot of fun while it's growing. Right. And yeah, there's going to be moments of overwhelm. You guys, as I'm starting something new, I'm feeling that. Right. I know what it feels like to be in the beginning stages where you don't know all the things. You don't have all the words to say, all the product knowledge, all the things. But you do have like for me, I'm like, okay, focus on what you do know, focus on what you have and run with those elements. And for me, that's like the business opportunity and team building and all those things. And I know that, and I know a good business opportunity when it's looking me in the face, which is what's got me so lit up, but focus on what you do know and lean on the people around you and the resources that are given to you. And for me, I think like, look at your mentor and ask your, like, or find a mentor that can kind of teach you through um, getting started in that and, and ask them, right? What's my A, B, and C? What's my step one, two, and three? What do I do to make this thing a success and to give it a good try? Um, so that's my first piece of advice for you if you are just starting out. Number two is to shout it from the rooftops. Here's the thing. A lot of the times our fear is going to hold us back from doing that. A lot of times our fear is going to make us play small in the beginning until we gain the courage and the confidence to come outside of our box and share the news. But you may never gain that courage and confidence to come outside your box if you don't come up, like it's kind of like a chicken or an egg situation, right? Like if you never give it the college try, if you never share it with the masses, like are you really going to give this business opportunity its fair shot? Likely not. So I want you to get excited right from the beginning. Lean on what you know and lean into that right? Let that like reframe the feeling of fear into excitement. I tell myself all the time, like I think, okay, I'm feeling this feeling in my chest. That's not fear. It's excitement. And it really is. It's excitement for the opportunity ahead. So share it in all the ways that you know how. Share it in person. If you are transitioning from another company, share it in the community that you originally started for your original customers. Be authentic, be genuine, send messages, send voice notes, give people samples or products or whatever. Like, I just want you to think about all of the ways that you can share this and all of the people that you can share it with. The nice part about that comes from starting to share it with your circle, be it your personal friends and family, be it um, a VIP group that you already have or other social media platforms like Instagram is that you actually learn a a lot during that process, right? Because people are going to ask you questions and don't, don't be alarmed, right? Likely nine times out of 10, you're not going to know the answer to those questions in the beginning, but what it's going to do because you're in your warm market right now is it's going to give you an opportunity to go out and get the answers to those questions so that when people that you don't know yet, and as you grow your business, start asking you these questions, you're going to have the experience of answering them. Right. So that's why we start with our warm market with the people that know and love us is because they're going to give us that little bit extra leniency. Right. They're going to give us the opportunity to learn as we go and they're going to teach us what we need to learn. And the more people you talk to, the quicker you're going to learn and the quicker you're going to spread like awareness about what you're doing. And that's what it's all about, because. It's not necessarily about like quantifying who in your circle would necessarily be a good customer because at the end of the day, every single person in your world knows someone who would be a really good customer for you in the, per in the future, right? So every single person is your target audience in the beginning. Every single person is like someone that you want to create that awareness with. So share in all the ways that you know how and also, and, and allow that be to, to be a teaching tool for you. you know, be, get comfortable with being a little bit uncomfortable. Do not think that you need to know everything. And also, like, <laughs> you won't, right? Um, you won't know everything. And you're not expected to, but you will learn along the way. And you'll get to develop that kind of 
um, comfort and sorry, my husband just walked into my office with a big ATV helmet. He just got a new side-by-side -side that is essentially, I say it's the equivalent male toy of a woman getting a brand new kitchen or a bathroom. Like it's a bit ridiculous. And regardless, anyways, he just walked in here with like a big ninja helmet on. Um, <laughs> And now I'm all over being distracted. So share it with your people. Um, and then my last piece of advice is just to, like I've already told you, kind of like throw yourself into the business, give it the old college try in your first 30 to 90 days, really give yourself a solid opportunity to make this thing a thing, right? Carve out, like, and then my last piece of advice is to work this like a business. Set aside times. Do not try to launch a business in the cracks of your life. In the cracks of your life is only going to lead to overwhelm, exhaustion, and fatigue. It's going to make you feel like this is something that you're adding to your plate. Whereas if you actually just set aside an hour every single day, this thing could build into something that blows your mind. And I teach this to my clients all the time is like that we, like, you know, it's interesting. Like we often wonder why things aren't working or they're not going to plan or something. And then we look at our own activities inside of this businesses and of course it's not flying, right? You cannot build a business with a hobby mentality. And don't get me wrong, if you join a business and you really just want to dabble in it and it's for free product or to use the products yourselves, that's fine. That's fine. You're likely not listening to this podcast episode if that is you, but there's nothing wrong with that. However, if you are a business owner, ask yourself if the activities that you're doing on a daily basis are business owner CEO activities. Um, it's going to take time. It's going to take energy. It's going to take focus um, to build this thing, but it's absolutely going to be worth it. And I want to encourage you to give yourself that time. And in the beginning, I know for me at least, I get a little bit obsessive about it, right? I get like not obsessive in a bad way, obsessive, obsessive, like I'm just so damn excited that I'm like literally like vibrating. Um, and it can be all consuming. I want to encourage you to also continue to live your life. <laughs> Put down your phone, step away from the trainings and make sure that you are still present inside of your life. But that all the more reason to actually say, this is when I'm going to be working my business. This is how I'm going to carve out time to work my business so that you can feel confident in the, in the fact that you've done that and that you can go out and you can like get right back into your own life and enjoying your own life and not feeling like, Ugh. when we try to do all the things, but we're in all of the things all at the same time, we feel like we are pulled in a million different directions. We feel overwhelmed. We feel exhausted. And most of the time it makes us stop, right? It makes us feel like we have to let go of one thing. And oftentimes that's our businesses because there's not very many things in our lives that are in our day-to-day -day lives that we can let go of, right? My kids aren't going away. Dinner's always going to have to be fed to them. A lot of people have a nine to five that has to happen. Like all of the things, right? It's oftentimes our health or our our businesses that we're building that we feel like are the, the flex thing, the thing that we can flex in and flex out of. And they are likely two of the most important things that we should never flex out of. If like we are really, truly, truly wanting to live the life of our dreams with the future that we envision for ourselves, they're two of the things that shouldn't be on a flex plan in your life. So set aside that time to work your business so that you can go back into your life and live it. But you also know that like, yeah, I'm over here and I'm doing the thing. All right, you guys, that is it for today's episode. I hope you love it. And honestly, I hope every single one of you shares this into your personal channels because whatever business you're building um, or whatever business you're helping other people to launch, I think this is going to be valuable information to get people pumped up and excited and really immersing themselves in their businesses. So like always, if you love this episode, please tag me over on the socials at Lori Irvin on Instagram, Lori Eldridge Irvin on Facebook. Find me in the Level Up community on Facebook for tons of free network marketing advice, tons of business building tips, and just overall incredible community of women building network marketing businesses. And if you really, really, really love me and want to like 
really show me, please head to iTunes and give me a five-star review. It honestly goes so far. I can't tell you how much I appreciate them and love reading your comments. So you guys over and out one more week out. I love you so much. If you're binging your way through, I will see you inside the next episode.